we are. There's nothing as sociable as a nice cup of tea. Uh, I always say. We have a couple of mamaki trees that we're already growing on our property. They only grow here in Hawaii and they have a lot of nutritional value. They produce edible white berries and large leaves. Wash the leaves really well. You can use the leaves and the berries. Another ingredient I really love is lemongrass. It has a lemony flavor but without all the acidity. I'll use one or two stalks per gallon. After cleaning them well, I chop them up into small pieces. I'll take a fairly large piece of ginger and chop it up. I'll also add a piece of turmeric, which gives it good color as well as nutrition. The leaves on the turmeric and ginger plants are very tasty, so I'll put a couple of those in there when they're in season. I also add some kefir lime leaves and lemon balm, which give it a little bit of a citrusy taste. We like to add a little green tea, and since mamaki is so mild, uh, sometimes we like to add a little black tea to give it a little more flavor. If I'm only making a gallon, I can fit it in my Instapot, and I'll do it on zero minutes at high pressure with a natural release. Otherwise, I'll just put two gallons of water in a pot, bring it to a boil, and then I just put everything in there and let it cool naturally. Before it cools off too much, I'll add about three-fourths of a cup of honey per gallon. Then we strain all of the solids out using a nut bag to try to get the tea as clear as possible. And then we use the leaves as compost or feed it to the chickens. Nothing goes to waste on a farm. It's so delicious and it's kept in the fridge and if we want it hot, we just nuke it in the microwave for a few minutes. Uh, how many lumps do you want? Oh, three or four. 